Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are doing well. Hope life's treating you good today. Whoa, look at that. My tractor is a little funky. It's it's floating for whatever reason. And it's floating crooked. Is it not? That looks crooked to me. I got a pretty good eye for that. Any hoot, we are back at La Coronella. Taking a, a, I don't know if we were taking a break from Six Ashes or we were at Six Ashes taking a break from La Coronella. But either way, here we are. So this is our, this was an oat field. We'd harvested it the last episode. We still need to pick up the straw. We tried to see if we could go ahead and make compost uh, by wrapping the bales of straw. And no, that did not work. So that is out. Now, I believe you have to have waste to be able to make compost. So unless you could wrap bales of waste, I don't think it could be done. But I have not tried that, so if you have, let me know. So what else is on the docket for today? I know we have some other fields that are ready to go. So let's pull up our map here. So we did 19, that's where we're standing next to. We've got 21, or 22, which is oats as well. So we need to get it harvested, and then we will have straw from that. And 21 is chickpeas. So we're going to definitely harvest it, and we will take the straw. And you have to do bales if you want the best price, because you can sell it at the Livestock Coronella, or you could come down here to the Fertland. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm probably not, but it's as good as I got. So there we go. Uh, you can sell loose, but you have to sell it uh, haystack. Haystack, you can sell loose uh, chickpea straw. But usually it is the lowest price as far as that goes. Let's come over here and see. Take a quick gander. So the Fertland is 239 Haystack is 236 And then Livestock. La Coronella is 277. So Haystack is almost always the cheapest. Now, looks like it's going up and Fertland is going down. So it might actually be in second place for a little while. But we will definitely we will bail it up and we'll sell it where it needs to go. So I think the first thing to do is let's hop in our harvester and let's get over there and uh, get on our second oak field. See if we can get that taken care of fire this beast up and i will meet you over there well i had forgot that this guy right here is pretty darn full i don't think it's all the way full but it well it's at 95 percent so what are oak prices right now anyway well if i hit the right button that might that might help so we need oats 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 Let's see. And they are going for not a whole bunch. Wow. Yeah, they're not going for much at all. If I look over now, wheat is actually selling for more than oats. I don't think I'm going to sell. I think we're going to put it in our silo. Let's. I don't even know how much I should look. How much room we have in our silo. Kind of bumpy there. Let's go over here and see. Hopefully it will. I mean, we've only got, what, 30, less than 30,000 liters in here. But I don't think there's any need for us to sell right now. We are sitting okay for cash. This is, this is it, right? <laughs> I think it is. There we go. Let's drop that in there. Now, what does it say? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't tell us how much room we got. Well, that's no good. There we go. Oh, 250,000 liters. Beautiful. So we'll get this dumped, and then we'll go ahead and take it over there to the oat field. And that should help out a lot. I didn't want to get started harvesting, and then you turn around, and you're like, uh-oh, you got to stop the whole show so that you can get everything ready. Let's get our ducks in a row. Then we can get over there and see if we can make some headway. All right, just oh, through the river and over the over the woods and oh, in through the woods and over the something to grandmother's house we go. I think I killed that one. 
Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should get my uh, stories straight before I start spewing my mouth. <laughs> All right, let's pull this guy over here. This looks like as good a place as any. Well, maybe over a little bit more so that our header has a little room to kind of scoot by us there as we're doing our headlands. I know what kind of driver I am. Not very good. Okay, so let's shut that off. Now, now we can actually get in here. I guess I just left that running. I'm not concerned about fuel. <laughs> so, okay, let's drop her down. Wow, that got loud all of a sudden. Woo! Okay, so we are going to run some headlands here, I think. Get this done. Rocking and rolling. And I think I'm going to do a, a speedy through this. I think it would be good. It's a good way to kind of start with a little harvest rocking and rolling. So let's, uh, let's see about uh, getting this pig done. Well, I have to say, I am pretty happy with my straw swath there. They all look pretty darn good. Fairly good, anyway. I think it should be a fairly easy field to clean up, I'm hoping. <laughs> Sometimes they're not the neatest of all, but that's okay. That is just fine. I don't think all of this is going to fit in there. We'll get part of it. We'll probably have about 5,000 liters left. Three to five, somewhere in there. You know how good my guesstimations are, so who knows what we're going to end up with. But that's okay. We're just taking it to the silo anyway, so we shouldn't have too much problem. Let's get this guy emptied out. We'll truck over there, dump it off, and then I think I think we should go ahead and start on the chickpeas over there. I mean, we're already here. We've already got the harvester. Oh, look at that, 42. So I was actually right in my ballpark. Okay, so start this guy up. Let's go get this dropped off, and then we'll come back here, uh, empty out the car combine, and uh, head over to the strick, the strick, the chickpea straw. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll get it. We'll get there some, one way or the other. We'll get there. I would like to see these oats more around the uh, $1,500,000 mark for per liter per thousand liters that is 
I just think what uh, they're selling it for or buying it for is just a tad bit too low. This is just money in the bank. We're not hurting for cash at all since we harvested compost. We are sitting, uh, sitting pretty good, actually. We do need to buy ourselves a piece of equipment for the composting plant because I want some type of front end loader of some kind. I was thinking of what was it? What was it? What was it? Let's see here. Just we got we got a second. Let's see. Where was it? I was thinking about a wheel loader. I was actually thinking about this new Holland right here. It's got like the most horsepower. So I'm not really sure why I wouldn't go with it. Now that has the same horsepower, but it's also about $75,000 more. So I, I don't know why I would go with any of these when this guy right here is the cheapest and, oh no, it doesn't have the same. It's 10 horsepower less. I say, I say that's it. Unless that is an articulating one. I, I don't care for articulating things. You know, I wonder, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Well, that changes things. We may be going with a claws. Maybe. We'll have to we'll have to ponder that for a bit. I don't really like the articulating tractors. I mean they're okay when you're just pulling stuff, but it's uh I'm challenged when it comes to those. Alright, let's get on out of here. So let's get this emptied and head on over there and see if we can get started on our chickpeas. So what I'm hoping we can do is we can get a couple of headlands ran around here and maybe put a worker on this and then we can go ahead and uh, get the trailer emptied out and then get back here before the worker actually runs out of things to do is fills up his tank there i cannot really remember how much harvest you get off of chickpeas oh well we're not doing chickpeas we're doing lentils what i thought this was chickpea now i'm really confused Okay, I gotta, I gotta slowly stop here because I pull that up and not that one, this one. And we come over and I thought that was chickpeas was yellow. Oh, so is lentils. How did I, hmm, well, you know, I think we're going to have a lot more compost than I thought we were going to have. Well, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. How did I end up with lentils in there? You know, it's been it's been a couple days since I've actually been here. I wonder if I did that on purpose. Or did I do I don't know. I do not remember. So I guess I guess all of that chickpea stuff, forget it. Just never mind it. <laughs> put it put it away. Because we're doing lentils and we are gonna have too much straw. That's what we're gonna have. So that's, I mean, it's a good thing to have only because we're going to turn it into compost. And that means that our bank account is going to be very, very happy. So let me go ahead. Let's see if I can run a couple headlands and get the uh, worker started here. And then we'll move on and see what is next. Well, the worker are did not get to hop on this at all. We did not make it even quarter of the way around the field on the second headland. So went ahead and put the oats in the silo. Let's empty this guy out. Now, what are lentils going for? I do not know. Lentils, lentils. They should be down here by chickpeas, right? Yes, they are. Wow, look at chickpeas, $2,800. My gosh. So we've got $2,600 at the grain station for lentils. We should make a considerable amount of money off of these lentils. That's crazy. That is, I mean, that's a soybean money, isn't it? What are the soybeans going for here? The soybeans are going for, yeah, heck, that's more money than soybeans. I mean, they're going for right now twenty six seventy one, but the chickpeas are going for twenty eight. My goodness! 
Very nice. We will take that all day long. Let's shut that off. Hop back in this guy here. Now, I'm not going to do a speedy. You guys just watched me do the exact same thing. This is not a speedy channel, that's for sure. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, I think I will hire a worker, uh, but I'm going to do some of it. Try to get, I got to get it squared up, kind of cleaned up so that the workers should have no problem doing what they need to do. And our trailer is full. So I had looked at the price of lentils, but where are we selling? We are selling at the grain station. Okay, let's go ahead and tag it. Bag it and tag it. Oh, never mind. I think I've said that already before. I can't help myself. I have, oh, look at that. That is like right there. Okay, sweet. I like it when it's easy. So we just have to go right there. Is there an, oh, there is. I know, I'm driving through the crops. I know, I know, I know. I got kind of carried away. I never noticed the waterfall right there though. Uh-oh, I thought I was gonna hit that. Ooh. Well, this isn't easy to get out of this. Maybe if I'd have came at a better angle. Or was a better driver. It always comes down to being a better driver. Okay, so how much are we going to get out of this? We should get 60, 70,000 maybe? Maybe 70 grand? That would be, that would be pretty nice. That, and we still have probably, I don't know if it's a whole half of the field left or not. Don't hit it. Oh, and look at that. We just missed that guy as well. Oh, money is shooting up. But we end up 78. Now, see, we need to figure out what we're going to buy. We're definitely going to buy that front end loader. And I think we need another field. We've got the cash. We've got a, we've got a harvester and stuff. We've only got one tractor, but, you know, that's okay. If there's something you can think of that I need, I haven't thought of yet, or I should buy, let me know. Because I definitely know we're going to buy another field. We buy, have to get a front end loader. Am I too close? I feel like I'm too close. I'm too close. Scoot on over there. All right. There we go. Ooh, my driving abilities are going... How are they getting worse? That's what I want to know. How is my driving getting worse? <laughs> maybe I should put that bottle down, maybe. I don't know. Don't be drinking and driving, kids. It's bad. All right, shut that thing off. Let's hop on. There we are. We'll take over from here. Lower that thing down and well we don't I don't think we quite have half left. But we have uh we have quite a bit left. I think we're gonna get another full trailer out of this though. Another 78 grand would be pretty darn nice. And that cursed rain, I can see it in the forecast. It's uh, it's just taunting me. Taunt taunt. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's get this thing finished up, knocked out, and once we do, then I think we need to do a little browsing and see about figuring out what field we want to buy, where we want to go. If we want to stay down in this area right next to our farm, or do we want to maybe go where uh, right around 44 so that we've got a little group there as well? We will just need to uh, do some browse in there and, and see which way we want to go. So I'll see you, and unless something exciting happens, I will see you when this field is done. And just like that, we are all in the last strip. And there she goes. Whoa, Nelly, whoa. 
All right, there it is. There it is. Now, I have to say that our trailer is already full. So let's put out that guy. Wait, where's the... Uh, it's way over here. So we might as well just cruise right on over here. See if we can... Here, pull that up. That will make things go a little easier. I say this looks like a really good spot right here. And, all right. So now, let's get her butt over here. And we should get, what, another $78,000? I have to say, that's pretty stellar. I did not expect to be making this kind of money off of this. To be honest, I didn't really know. I didn't look at how much chickpeas were selling for, nor did I look at how much lentils were selling for. But... That's a, a nice little uh, happy, hap I don't know if it's a happy accident or not, but it's, it's happy cash in our pocket. That's what the heck it is. Money is shooting up. We're over the 700 mark. So I think we'll get this all dumped out, cashed in. Then we need to get ourselves a loading wagon and go around and pick up three fields of straw. There we go, and I think it's all going to go to the composting plant just because if I put it in our silo, figuring out how to get it into the composting plant from there is going to be very difficult. So why, why mess with it? Let's just go ahead and take it from the composting plant to the composting plant and just rock on from there. Well, what I forgot is that we need to buy another field. I think I had said that once we got this one done, we were going to look around and see if we could find another field to buy. Man, for one combine full, we got a 34,000 bucks. That is, uh, that's pretty stellar right there. Okay, wrong button, Junior. Come on, get with it. So where and what do we want? I don't think I really want to go way up here at the top. I just, uh, I don't think so. I don't want sugar beets. Uh, I don't want con uh, cotton. Cotton just, by the time you harvest cotton, by the time you rent the harvester, and uh, you just, uh, you have to have a fairly large field or multiple fields to make any money doing cotton. So I've toyed with down here at 50. Now, 50 doesn't have any fertilization state on it at all, but it's, I think, I think it's on the third growing state, so we could put possibly two fertilization states on it. And that was what? Canola? Oh, no, soybeans. Now, we have canola right here on 33. I think it's in the same state, right? It's actually one gross state less. How much is it? Let's take it. 198, 200 grand. That's 223. I, you know, I'm thinking right here. I'm thinking number 33. If 34 was anything but cotton, I'd probably jump on it or I'd jump on 30. Because 30 is 328, but it's a good size field. But it's what oil seed or something like that. Something, yeah, oil seed radish. I I don't want oil seed radish. I just don't. I don't even think you can sell it, can you? I don't think so. I don't think that's a, a for sale crop. I think it's just so that it like gives the ground a fertilization state. I might be wrong on that, but uh, I don't know. So let's, uh, well, now, hey, get back in there, man. I always do that. I always close out of it before I'm actually done. So we're bouncing between 33 and 50. I like them both, but I think we're going to do 33. Let's do 33. Let's buy it. Oof. There goes some of our money. But we're still sitting at six six $600,000. I think we are just... Fine, we could actually buy another field if we so desire. But I think we need to uh, take care of a few things first. Make sure that I am not forgetting something that we need to buy. That's usually the way it goes. 
So I think I'm going to take this guy uh, back to the farm. Get it dropped off. And we need to grab... Uh, well, here's my dilemma. I was going to pick up the straw. But now that we have a field that needs fertilized, I think we should jump over there. And let's get that thing fertilized before it changes to another grow state. Whew. I thought I was going to smack that for sure. Turn. Oh, I smacked it anyway. Sometimes the gooseneck trailer is uh, not what I'm used to driving. There we go. Yeah, I can honestly say I haven't pulled the... Uh, any gooseneck trailers in real life. Other trailers, I've pulled more than I care to mention. There we go. Hey. There we go. So, all right. Now, oh, I wanted to mention something. Uh, on, what was it? Six Ashes. I, I forget sometimes. They, I got underpaid for my silage bales. If you watch that one, a gentleman... Oh, and I can't remember his name. I, I'll have to get his name and I'll have to mention it. Give him a shout out because he pointed out that I did not get paid the proper amount for my silage bales. I was supposed to make like $900 per thousand liters. And I ended up making, I think it was $365 per thousand liters. It was, it was, it was heartbreaking when I found out it was truly heartbreaking. <laughs> Where's my fertilizer spreader? Okay, let's see. But I just wanted to thank him for uh, pointing that out to me. I went went back and checked my footage, and I'm like, well, I'll be darned. They did. They didn't pay me what I was supposed to get. I think we have enough fertilizer that we should be able to take care of our new field. I can't remember the field number. Was it 33? I think it was. Now, I think we can take us a little shortcut here. If I could see my hair. There we go. Take, that's better. I like the trees on this map. They're very pretty, but my goodness, they cover up the road. So that right there should be, but well, you can't see it. Have you ever felt like when you're driving in first person in these tractors that you need to scoot down a little bit? I always feel like the roof is just so close to my head. It uh, gives me claustrophobic issues. All right. Now, can we open this? Open. Oh, okay. So we are. Let's double check that. Okay, good. We are in the right field. Not that I would uh, ever hard or fertilize the wrong field. Okay, out of first person. And look at that. It's even good enough that we should be able to see. First trip around field 33. Okay. Well, let's sit back and uh, do just a little bit of fertilizing here. And then we'll go take care of some straw. Well, this was not too bad at all. I do think I'm going to get rid of this sprayer. Spreader, not a sprayer, sorry. It 
the only thing I don't like about it, I don't mind that it goes 12 mile an hour or does 24 meters, I think it does. It's that the animation goes just a little bit further than the actual fertilizer goes. And most of the spreaders, the fertilizer goes further than the animation. So you end up with things like this because I'm like, oh, yeah, right there. And it's right on the edge. And I think it's getting it. And I understand it's all on me. It's my fault. I did it or didn't do it. I got it. But I don't like it. I don't like that it does that. I would rather that it went further than the animation than the other way around. That's all. I'm not really whining too much. I don't think. Well, maybe I am. I'm whining. <laughs> Not as much as these people who are getting their house showered with fertilizer should be whining. Should come out throwing rocks at me or something. Stop it! I think we got it all. Okay, let's pull up the map. Let's take a look. Let's make sure. Zoom in a little bit. It looks good. Looks good. We're rocking now. Okay. So I think... Oh, I need this tractor, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's take this guy, head back to the farm. I'm just going to leave the gate open. Everybody around here, they all look out for everybody's farm. We can leave that gate open. That's just there to keep the honest people out anyway. Okay. I'm thinking if we have to go to the store anyway, we might as well. Hey. Hey. Well, that fertilizer, there it goes. Get rid of this thing while we're there. That way, if I don't, I'll forget, and then I'll do it again, and then I'll be aggravated with it again next time. Let's just go ahead, take it down there, and be gone with it. And then we maybe we'll at least purchase a new one. Maybe? Because we can't tow it back at the same time, obviously. Whoa. Go oh. Well, that was oh oh I thought it was gonna flip back over come on come on we made it we made it no problem don't worry we're good we're good what all do we have here what the heck is this okay now now I'm confused wait a second this thing was sitting with her chickens why is it here? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Hold on. Let's. I gotta find something out. Can we? Oh, we can't visit. Can we visit there? Okay, we visit there. Now I thought there it is. Why do I have a second one of these? I don't need a second one of these. I am very very confused. Which is most of the time. So, all right. I guess we should return it. Or did we rent it? Did we own it? Did we, <laughs> what the heck did we do? Uh, okay, so there's one that we... Uh, oh, we've rented that one. How about own? Do we own one? Wait, we do. Auto low. Oh, is one of them for pallets? Did I buy? Yeah, I have no idea. I am completely lost. I did we buy one so that we could get the uh, flower? Maybe we did. Let's say that's what we did. And maybe we're not crazy. Maybe we are. We're at least a half a bubble off, if nothing else. Okay, let's drop that guy right there. Yeah, I've been saying this, but we need to get in here and clean this mess up. So, let's repair it. Yes. And then we'll sell it. Yes. Okay. So, let's go ahead and come over here and fertilizing technology. That's where we're going. Uh, I'm not sure it wasn't. It might have been that guy. Was That that might have been the one we had. This one I like, but it's awful noisy. It is very, very noisy. Oh, uh, these. 
Yeah, see, that says it goes uh, 37 meters wide or 50 meters wide. It does not go 50 meters wide. That was a failed modding attempt on my part. It does go at 27 miles an hour, which might be a little excessive. But that's, that is definitely an option. Not a bad option either. It holds quite a bit. I don't want to do the sulky. We do the sulky so much. It does a good job. Don't get me wrong. At 50 meters, that is the beast. I think we're going to do this guy right here. Uh, okay, let's let's buy it. I think we should buy it. We're going to use it all the time. There we go. Now we need a loading wagon of some sorts. And, oh, you know, I have three fields that I have to harvest or pick up straw. That's a lot of straw. That could be a lot of trips. Now, I think, I think we're going to go with this guy right here. And do we want to change the color? I don't know. I'm kind of happy with the color, really, to be honest. Rim color is... No, I don't want to buy it. I just want to lease it. I think that's it right there. I think that's good. Let's lease it just as it is. I know I wasn't going to use it. I know. Don't hate me because I'm weak. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. I can't help it. Now, I don't think you can't hook these up in tandem, can you? Let's, let's hop out of here. Is there a trailer hitch on that guy? No, there isn't. And there's not one on that, right? Okay. We will need to come down here and get this stuff picked up. But first, let's go ahead. Uh, back. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let's get this thing. Over to our fields, back to the farm, and see if we can pick up some straw. I think there's too many pedestrians walking around these streets. Just too darn many. All right, let's lower it, turn it on, and I think we should just drive around. I always forget to come this way. I always start heading back to the farm, and then just before I go up the curvy road there, I see my field off to the right, and I'm like, wait a second. I could have just went down the road. Now, this straw wasn't bad, but there's a couple of places that got a little bit ugly. One back there. There's a little bit right up here. Not, oh, and I missed. Not, I'm looking at the wrong place. And that's not very pretty at all either. But with this guy, it makes no difference at all. As far as pretty goes, it picks it all up, picks it up right now. So how much, how much straw do you think we're going to get out of these two feet, uh, three fields? So we're at 78, 80,000 liters already. So I think we're going to end up with right around, I'm guessing at 700,000 liters. That's what I'm going to say. By the time we get all three fields done, we're looking at 700,000 liters. Now, you know as well as I know that I'm horrible at this game as far as guessing how much for what. But we will see. I, I'm pretty confident in my guess. As confident as uh, I can be. With that, let's just go around. Let's just get it all picked up. Let's get it done well we're going to get over 300,000 liters just on this field I I think we are going to be really close to my 700,000 guess anyway and I'm and that should equate to exactly that same amount of compost which is nice I know, what was it, the alfalfa and the clover silage? When you made that on Stone Valley, it you could put it, it was less than a half. It was more like a third is what you got out of it. 
you put 500,000 liters in there and you get like 120,000 liters out. It's like, whoa, what the heck? Well, I mean, and I, like I said, I do understand that making compost, you would lose some mass out of it, I would think. As it degrades and turns into compost, but not, you know, two thirds of it. But it was still good money. Very, very, very good money. Just like this is going to be. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead. Let me get these two last two fields finished up. And then we'll head down to the composting plant, see if we can get this all into the silo. Oh, there we go. And compact it down. Well, I guess my guess <laughs> is wrong. It's We are already at 740,000. So I think I'm going to be a little bit low. Maybe I'll say... Uh, 900,000? That'll give us about 150,000 more liters off of that other field. It is our smallest of the three fields. That 900,000, that is ridiculous. So how much is compost going for right now? I, I gotta look. I just gotta know. How much? How much? Uh, compost, compost. That's not compost. That's oh, what? Eighteen hundred dollars. Woo! Well, we are gonna soon be millionaires, folks. Look at that. That's crazy. That is just ridiculous. Eighteen hundred dollars per thousand liters for straw for goodness sake it's just straw i like it i'm not complaining that is not wine that is not a complaint that is a guy saying that with a big old grin on his face because we're gonna have stupid amounts of money here very shortly and then we just got to figure out our biggest problem is going to be figuring out what we're going to buy where we're going to spend it if there is anything that anybody wants to see on this map, let me know. I mean, I do want to, we have a uh, sunflower field that's ready to harvest so we can make some sunflower oil. We have not yet sold any flour that we've made yet either. I think we have three or four bales of it, or pallets of it, not bales. So we need to sell that also. This map is a money-making map. Which, those are the maps I like. I, I'm all about making some money. At least in Farm Sim. In real life, I'm not very, not very much about it, evidently. So let me go ahead. Let's get this thing uh, wrapped up. Then let's head down to the composting plant. See if we can get this composted. And just like that, we are done. Done with 1,088,000 liters of straw. So both of my guesses stunk. We were, <laughs> they were bad. All right, I will see you at the composting plant. Well, it looks like I have a little bit of cleanup to do first. Now let's let the fun begin. We have, uh, a million liters of waste to get compacted here. This could take a little while. Now, I'm not sure. Let's stop that. Try not to get it too close to the front. I hate it when it comes barging out the front of the silo. Yeah, this is going to take a minute. So I'm wondering, would we be better off to just get it all dumped in here? And then maybe with that front end loader come in here and compact it because normally I like to use the trailer that's full but the thing is is this trailer doesn't register the weight of all the product that's in it so it makes it a little bit more difficult to do I mean we can do a little compacting here and there but we're not going to be able to do a bunchy bunch and I hate that it goes out the side of the bunker that's horrible 
And I'm sure it's doing it on the other side as well. I don't like it. I guess we're still at 6%. That is something. Okay, I don't think you guys want to watch me drive forward and backward and forward and backward. So I'm going to go ahead and get this taken care of. And then when it's all done, we'll touch base. And there it is. Other than the spillage that is everywhere. Other than that, I think we're all right. So, okay, let's pull this guy out of the way. Let's just pull him over here. Now, I don't think, oh, I don't think. I doubt that this even picks up compost. I never even thought of that, but I bet it doesn't. Nope. It does not. So, all right. I was thinking, hey, if I could just use this to clean it up, but that does not work. So let's let's do it. Let's get in here and see which one of these guys we want. This just seems like the uh, the best one. I mean, seems like it would have the biggest bucket. Would be the wheel loader, wouldn't it? I mean, I guess that's really the main thing for me is the wheel. Which one has the bigger bucket? And three, five, that's not it anyway. So eight, 8,000 liters is the top. Nah, okay. Uh, telehandler, we know. Front loader. Not nah, 750, 1200. Okay, so that is it. So we don't want the front loader. We need the wheel loader. And this guy here is articulating. I don't think... Is that guy? It is. So they're all articulating. So it doesn't really matter. If that's the case... Well, it's not a case. It's a New Holland. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. I know. It's a horrible, horrible, bad, bad joke. I don't even know if I would call it a joke. So I don't know why I... Ooh, look at that. I love the tread on that. I don't know why. What is that thing doing? Oh, it puts a little duel on the front. I'm not quite sure. Well, that would be good for compacting, but I don't think it's going to have the maneuverability that we want. Let's go standard there. So do we buy it? I get, Yes, we do. Let's buy it. And let's hope that is what we want. <laughs> okay, so now we need to go down here to the wheel loaders. And that says high dump. That's only 3,000. That is 8,000. So let's uh, take that and let's buy it as well. Okay. Now, to the store. There it is. So I'm going to grab this. And I will meet you at the composting plant and we'll see how this thing does. Alrighty, and here we are. This thing's got a pretty nice looking interior here. Got a big old monitor up there. Shows us a few things. So let's see. Can we operate this thing? That is the big question. There we go. Well, that's not too bad. No, other way, other way. Not too bad at all. Uh, and, well, well, it's not really wanting to go up there, but that's all right. Okay, not too shabby. We'll have to get a little uh, more familiar with it, obviously. Maybe if I scooted back just a little bit, I could see what the heck I'm doing. 
I have a, like a real dirt, I guess it is. I can't remember the name of the mod, but it messes with the way that the uh, products move around. So once my bucket's full, it starts just pushing it out of the way. Of course, it's not full, but... Okay, I guess it's full now. Okay, all right, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and get a little bit more practice with this guy right here. There we go. I don't know how much I want to dump on this side. Like I said, I don't want it to start oozing out of the silo on the front or the back. The back we don't have anything to worry about. So let's get this thing cleaned up. Well, we've almost got one side done. And I have to say, this thing has taken way longer than I had anticipated. I'm thinking, you know, oh, five minutes or so, or, you know, a half hour. Come on, get it, get it. And that's it. And I think part of the problem is we keep sucking compost from this silage pit or this composting pit over here. So as it goes through the wall, we're not only trying to pick up what's in that one, we're also picking up what's in this one. So it has uh, turned into quite the project. I've toyed with a couple of times running and uh, doing a little modification to this bucket, make it hold a little bit more, but I'm like, nah, it shouldn't take us that long. We're almost done, right? And well, not really. We're getting there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all out of there or not. We're going to just keep on keeping on. So I'm going to hopefully, here in just a minute, we'll start uh, on the other side. Whoa, I'm a little tall. Hold, calm down. There we go. And this thing has worked extremely well. I really don't know why you would need any of the other pieces of equipment unless you just wanted it to say cloth. This guy does does it very well. And the bucket, I do like the bucket. I know the bucket would go with any of them because you can dump regular. And then, so you can come up here and I'm sure you guys probably know this, but just in case you don't, you can dump like so, just, you know, regular old dumpy dump. dump. Or you dump like that. And I like that one. It, uh, does I don't think it dumps any quicker but you don't have you don't need as much room to dump so that's kind of handy and convenient with all that I'm gonna get my butt right back to work or keep working I guess I haven't really stopped and let's get this done and finished my goodness now this side seems to be going just a little bit better I'm going at it a little different before I was, I started off putting my bucket right against the wall and I was trying to scoop it up that way like you really would. But now what I'm finding is if you, cause this bucket takes it from so far away, I get it where I need it to be, kind of down there. And then I just kind of sneak up on it. You don't want to get too close. I've been using these tire tracks down here as a guide and then you can just kind of come in and you take a layer off just like that. And it doesn't seem to take as much out of the uh, bunker silo as it does when you get right up against the wall. Which makes sense because the bucket takes it from so far away. Which is nice, but at the same time, uh, it's not so nice. Okay, I probably could have did a little time lapse on this, but... At the same time, it is the exact same movement over and over and over again. Go forwards, you go backwards, you dump, you raise, you lower. <laughs> you know? I am sure you have all experienced this in your own way. Full show. So let me get back to it. And we did it. 
Well, for the most part, we got just a little bit right down there, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna leave it. And the main reason we're gonna leave it is because I think somehow our waste has multiplied. Because I know we did not have 1,085,000 liters of waste. And I have another 500 or 5,000. So we're going to have 190,000 liters. I am pretty darn positive. I would probably put money on it. Now, of course, I would have put money that we had chickpeas in our field 21 as well. So I guess, you know. Or maybe I shouldn't be a gambling man, but uh, anyway, I don't think that we had 190,000 liters. But no, don't go down there. Don't go down there. So, any hoot, that's, uh, that's no complaints. That's for sure. I will take any extra that we can get. That all equals money. It's a... Uh, eighteen hundred dollars per thousand liters we are gonna make a gent <laughs> i i mean we're gonna be sitting what right now if we cash in we'd be over two million dollars and the fields are not that expensive on this map i don't know what we're gonna do with two million dollars but i think we're gonna figure it out all right so let me just compact this I think that's what I'm gonna do and we are almost there there it is that is really almost there <laughs> we're almost there and there we are all right let's get our butt come on get off of there get on now move on there fellers okay that is Budafamous right there Let's go ahead, pull this. Can we fit in here? Now, I wonder, can we can we get up that ramp right there? We should be able to park it up there. To be honest, I really don't know what the point of this is. I am sure maybe it's to back a trailer or something up here so that you can dump into another one or something. I don't know, but it doesn't seem very convenient. There we go. Whoop, too far. There it is. That's perfect. That looks good. I like it. Shut it off, that noisy beast. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's just turn this. Well, not turn it. Let's cover it. And we ended up with the, yep, uh, 1,090,000 blanket silo. Sweet. And it's only noon, so by tomorrow in game, we should be good to go. I think we have just about done everything we can do today. I think it's been a good day. I mean, we've got a bunch of money sitting here waiting for the next day here. I don't know if we'll be able to get to it the next, uh, next episode or not. We might, it just depends on how things go. I know we're gonna have to do some planting, a little bit of fertilizing. We still have to harvest field 44 and 33 will need fertilized and then it'll need harvested fairly quickly. So 44 did turn. Yeah, I just don't know. But these guys up here are uh, ready to be planted and we're gonna have to do some grass as well. Make us some silage bales. I have not seen any silage bunkers. I suppose we could put one down somewhere if we really needed to. Yeah, there's a couple of fields that we could... Uh, oh, that must be something because it looks like a, a food trough down in there. It's got to be something for some animal of some kind. With all of that being said... I, I want to thank everybody. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subs. And especially thanks for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you got any comments, anything you want to say, anything you want me to do, just let me know. With all of that, be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya!